What is going on, everybody? I'm actually here with Mike and Lauren, and they have a really cool rig that we are gonna tour right now. We're actually at Overland Expo West, out in Flagstaff, but, and we're in the Sunflare tent. Your rig is on display for them because the, the panels are on your rig. Yep. Right, so we're gonna get into all of that in this video. Here is their rig right here. Uh, I can't wait to show it off because it looks freaking awesome. You guys will wanna wanna check this one out. Here we go. Just let everybody know, Mike and Lauren have not done a tour like this before, right? Nope. All right, so don't judge them. We love them. They're amazing. Uh, first off, tell me what this thing is. What is this? Because it's not a van. It's not an overlanding. Well, it is an overland. What is it? Well, we never really know how to describe it, but it is a truck is kind of how we call it. It's an 1981 HJ47 Toyota Land Cruiser that was a emergency response vehicle. It's an overlanding vehicle before and, you know, we're restoring it to bring it back to life. Okay, so you imported it. No, uh, the previous owner did. Okay. He had another um, HJ, uh, but his wife would only let him keep one. <laughs> so we got really lucky. Uh, All right. We found it on Craigslist, actually, and um, at that time we were looking for a rig to kind of build, and when we saw this, it was, it was perfect. How long did, uh, you're not done with this, correct? No. This no. is far from over. It's a long list. Yeah, <laughs> you have a long things, a lot of things you're going to be doing. What was a lot of the restoring already done on the vehicle itself or did you do a lot uh, no i think uh, we did a lot of it um including the paint job um so oh you did the paint job yeah okay it looks yeah. really clean thank you when we initially got it, it was all white um back in this emergency response vehicle days um but the paint was chipping uh it looked pretty bad it looked kind of like a work truck okay we didn't like that and uh, we kind of fell in love with the Toyota Tacoma uh, <laughs> cement grays. So that's the color that we see yeah. now. I like it. I like it. It's in the Toyota family. It's a right hand drive if people can't see that yeah. back behind Lauren there. Uh, are you okay driving the right hand drive yeah. in the United States? Yeah, I'm very used to it now. Okay. Actually, sometimes when I drive my, uh, my daily driver, I get kind of switched up with the signal. <laughs> so that's always fun. Um, Is it automatic or manual? This one's a manual. Is uh, it really? Yeah. No power okay. steering. No power steering. So how is it shifting with your left arm? So funny thing is like I learned manual a long time ago. I haven't driven one in a, in a while until this car. Okay. So I actually just feels like normal to me now. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels more natural with your left hand. Yeah. Really? You have your right dominant hand on the wheel. On the wheel, yeah. yeah. Unless you're a lefty, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you grew up driving the other way. Right? Yeah, unbelievable. That's so cool. All right, can we walk walk me through what you guys have been doing? Uh, we can kind of go over what you guys have in the front here, but there really hasn't been much that you've done cab-wise and the build-wise. No, the front is pretty stock. Uh, we cleaned up a lot of like the wiring and stuff that was hanging out. Uh, okay. The, like they, when they stripped it from this ambulance days, and then we, you know, we did the paint job, so we kind of took everything apart. Even the box came apart. Did you put uh, that bumper on? No, the, it came with standard. the bumper. Yeah. Okay. So that's, you know, to get rid of, uh, I guess, the kangaroos in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, they are beefy. Yeah. What's the, can we walk to the back? Yeah. Before we go further, you guys have an Instagram. Yep. Um, go play outside, is that what this is? Yep. Okay, cool. Right now, this is a truck's Instagram. Uh, we're going to hopefully make a YouTube and a website and all that, but we haven't gotten around to it yet. Show the build process because uh, we have documentation on that too. Do we know the size of the box? Yeah, it's about um, 86 inches long, um, about 76 wide. Okay. Uh, so that's a standard full-size bed, uncut. It's just a typical standard uh, full-size. Um, and then we have a Yeti that fits perfectly in there. Um, you know, in the future, we'll probably go with like a Dometic or an ARB since we are solar now. Um, courtesy of Sunflare. Um, yeah. So they hooked you up? Yeah, they hooked yeah. us up. Okay, well, I wasn't going to go into that, but sure, we can. Uh, you guys have Sunflare Solar on the roof, which you can't see, which is phenomenal. Yeah, it's uh, really thin. So. And then you sleep this way. Mm -hmm. And what was the dimension across? I, I Now I already uh, forget. I think it's like 70. Eight, okay. Like that, awesome. And you're taller than me. And I'm taller. Yes. And so you fit comfortably. Yep. Yeah. Plus um, the dog. So. Plus the, we, we're, so we'll cool. get to Cooper in a little bit. He's, <laughs> he's over there chilling. Biggest question I'm going to have is these are folding down. Yeah. Were they part of a little bit of rain, guys? A little bit of rain. So were those fold up on there or did we rip those off and put the 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 awning style on. Right, so before um, this, it, it came like this, um, but instead of having it 
open, it used to be cabinets and you had like a place for hanging axes and shelves and all that on all four okay. floors. And which means that there's like a wall down on both sides and the cab side um, was very narrow. You could probably only fit like a twin bed. So we decided we wanted a more open concept and blew it out. That's awesome. And we started you know, putting up the wood. We actually, um, these are all new doors because uh, old doors were very um, kind of flimsy and falling apart. So mm -hmm. we actually redesigned the, the structure and then redid the skin and did all that. Have you gone camping? with all your doors open and slept that way uh yes actually like a month ago we were in vegas uh, nice it was really hot so we we had the doors open oh that's gonna be yeah. awesome like really a nice. great it feeling at yeah. that time yeah. so we will eventually get some netting on oh them. you will you're gonna get some screens yeah. oh that'll be kind of cool cooper's going going to town <laughs> he was a little scared that that uh you guys uh close up shop on him <laughs> um so you got right now all you guys really have is a queen bed or a full bed mm -hmm. uh a yeti cooler uh we're gonna do a power system i presume yeah so we'll start in, um distributing all the power um with different outlets on each side uh we actually have a 21 gallon water system uh, with a water pump and everything under the bed oh you do yeah we do. where's where does that spout out from uh it's on the left side but i'm going i think we're going to uh put ports on both either side so we can have it uh, but it's right here uh, i have a sure flow this is super cool there's a sure flow uh oh tank God. in there i mean a uh, accumulator and the pump okay and right now we just have it connected to a garden hose um what do you use for like drinking water if you're out camping uh honestly we, we've been using that and uh just a standard jug okay yeah, so that works we have filters that cool in it as well it fits perfectly under like half the bed um, mm -hmm. i just need to build like the enclosure for it and make it nicer so what are what, are, what else we got plans wise for the rest of the build i mean we uh, have shelving we here we pre-wired a lot of wiring up into the four corners of the truck so okay um like all of the batteries are in here for the oh there we go work. look at this yeah there's these nice little compartments wait did they the hook side. you up with this too yeah yeah everything what <laughs> Full setup. i'm gonna have to get on sunflare's case here they didn't hook me up like that uh so do we know uh amp hours of battery um all that other stuff yeah they're each uh, 100 amp hours, okay cool so we have two two total that that's gonna be your power system yeah. more than enough for what we're doing more than enough uh, this is obviously not a full-time vehicle. This is a no. part-time, um, fun time, or yeah. climbing or snowboarding. You're yeah. going to play outside. Yeah. Yep. See what I did there? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what are we going to be using for heat when we eventually get to there? Uh, I'm not sure actually. Um, we'll have to think about that actually. And do we have a we have a concern about toilet? No. No. <laughs> Speaking like a real camper. Yeah. Backpacking a lot. Right. And you either, you know, you have facilities or you don't and you do your thing in the nature. You do your deed in nature. I get it. People on the channel usually ask about it. I just noticed what is that at the front that comes out that's right above the wheel well. Is that an uh, intake? Yeah, that's our air intake. That's air your clean. air intake? Yeah, that's a Donaldson filter. Um, Was it's that a on your I guess old school land cruises in Australia? Okay. Uh, more a hardcore air cleaner. Yeah, well, I'm gonna step on in if that's okay. Yeah, go yeah let's go. Do we know the height on the inside? Uh, kind of short. It's definitely can't stand up yeah, in it. It's about 58 inches. Okay. I mean, um, it feels so open in here though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah, we the doors. need the slatted shelving so it's not enclosed fully. Okay, so this was your guys's. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything. everything, all the woodwork we, we just finished. Yeah. I'm more obsessed with this little guy. <laughs> um, you guys have actually been camping out of this uh, for the whole weekend. Yeah. yeah, we have. In the expo, in the exhibit. <laughs> and how was that? It's, that pretty, is, uh, it's, it's pretty quiet, quiet yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. interesting. Not, it's not like being out in nature. It's like you're at a freaking expo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a phenomenal. I can't wait to do more with you guys. I've, 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 like, I want to come and see where you guys are when you're done with it. Sure. Um, yeah. We're going to have some lights in here, I presume. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, um, we're probably going to put some strip lights on each of the doors so that we can work, like, do stuff under them. That'll be cool. I want to see the screens in here. Yeah, we'll screens. have a pull-out kitchen. Pull-out kitchens. Oh, man, we need to get a pull-out kitchen. Okay, so how are we going to do the pull-out kitchen? 
Uh, so on each side, we have like six inches of space uh, under the bed. So we'll probably do like a drawer system and have something to open up and protect the bed from any kitchen. So this is, you guys are building this as like a, uh, like an overlanding rig. That's kind of like a, like what you would see in like in a pickup truck. Right. Like a lot of the stuff's going to be on the outside exactly. of the rig. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So really the inside is like, we're going to sleep in here. That's yep. it. Or it's raining. Even if it's raining, this yeah. is really cool. I'm going to step out. Yeah. It's been raining all day guys. And what's really cool is they have these awnings. So they hasn't, you guys haven't been getting wet at all. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's funny, you, you'll see uh, people come and just stand on there for <laughs> when the rain passes. Yeah. Obviously these really just interesting doors. That, man, this is gonna be cool. Um, do you have pictures that I can steal off of your Instagram? Oh yeah. The Pogo Play outside yeah, and I'll, I'll put them in there. The originals too. I'm super excited to see. Anything else you guys wanna talk about? I'd love for you guys to kind of go into more detail if you want. Um, yeah, I mean it's, we put a lot of work into it and it's yeah. all done by us. It's our first build and we've learned a lot along the way, so. Are you gonna keep it? Yeah, a lot yeah. of people have been asking uh, us how Wait, 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 she it. said, she said, yeah, you said no? Oh, I said yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's like, uh, too much investment now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like your baby, right? So usually I do talk about price with DIYers, but guys, I respect people's wishes and we're not gonna talk about price right now um, because this is a large undertaking. Yeah. And for anybody that has restored older vehicles, please respect that, everybody, because it's not fair to the to the person that is doing that. Uh, 1981. This yep. is older than me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm older than both of you. We're gonna cut this because. I think you guys are gonna get accosted with questions here in a minute. Go attend to the people that want to see more about your guys's rig. Check you out on Instagram, right? Yep. yep. Um, when we're ready, we'll post on YouTube and let <laughs> uh, Say your guys's Instagram one more time so people can come follow you. We're goplay.outside. I'm Lauren. This is Mike. You guys are awesome. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. I caught you guys at the end, and I'm sorry, but. I did want to tour this from the beginning. Uh, thank you guys so much for doing this. Yeah, thanks for having us. Oh, yay!